Canva recently introduced some really cool apps. So let's check them out. But first, if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for stopping by. You're an OG. And if you're a new subscriber, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button so you can see more amazing Canva tutorials like this. So let's get into the video. First app on the list is called Video Upscaler. And with this, you can enhance your video quality. So if you have a bad video quality, you can take the resolution high up to HD or 4K. So let's put this to the test. Starting on a fresh page like this, I'll go on to apps and search for video upscaler. So this is it. This is the option. And you can see all of the details. Let's open it up. So here it says maximum video size is 1920 by 1080. And the maximum video duration is six seconds. This is really short. Six seconds as a maximum duration is really short. But let's see what this can do. So you have to choose your file. Now you can see it says the current resolution for this video is 720. And there are different enhancement style here. There is a general one, which improves the overall clarity in all videos. There is anime, then there is portrait. So for this, let's test out all three of them. So I have clicked on it on the upscale resolution and it says it can upscale by 1080 or 4K. So let's try 4K. Then click upscale video. Then I want to also add my video here so we can see the before and after. Okay, still upscaling. This is taking a whole lot of time. So you need to actually be very patient. And it has already given us a prompt here that it can take a while. So you need to be very patient. And so we have our result. This is the before and this is the after. You can already see that this is very smooth. So let me add it to the design. Now let us be the judge. So this is what we had before. This is the video before. Let me pause this. And this is the enhanced video. This works perfectly. Let me play it again. You guys see the difference. This works perfectly and I will read this five over five i'll give this a five star in fact 10 over 10 this is so good and one thing i noticed let me play it again is that let me pause this you can see that it looks really smooth like very very smooth it also smoothens the skin so we can still go back and you can see that there are other things we can do here so this one improves the general clarity of the video and I can choose to only highlight the skin tones and facial features or preserve the intricate detail and vibrant colors. So let's see this, what this does. This is really nice. My only issue with this is it is too short. The video duration being only six seconds is too short. Canva or the developer needs to make this longer because this tool, this tool is too good to be just for six seconds. And so this is the result from what we just did. Let's see the difference. So you can see the difference. Ooh. Let me add to design. Remember for this, we used only the portrait feature. So let me pause this. Oh, you can see the difference between these two. This first one here, that's this one, is really, really smooth compared to this one. You're comparing it to this. But the quality difference is very noticeable. You can see that there's a quality difference between all three videos. This is it before, before we enhanced it, and this is it after. 
So this tool is a 10 over 10, five star, recommend, love it. The second app is called Replace Background. And what this does is it changes your backgrounds in minutes. So it says one click, change the background of the image. You can change the background of any image using the power of AI. How? All you have to do is upload your image and then let the AI handle it. You know what? Let's test this out. So I already have the image I want to use here. We'll go to apps and search for the name of the app, which is replace background. So this is the app. Click on it and then you can give it a prompt. So also note that you have one of eight credits and it refreshes daily. You can see it here. So you have eight credits at a go. So let's try something with this. Uh, let me duplicate this image then click this so we can see the before and after. And let me see a living room or a beach house. Let's see what that does. Okay, this is not bad at all. This doesn't look bad at all. This is really good. And you can see that now that I've done this, one of seven credits, so I have only seven credits out of eight. So we can also switch this up. What else can we do? Let me just say uh, a conference room or a living room. Let's just do something basic. And when you want to use this, try to make sure that there are not a lot of distractions in the background, because if there are a lot of distractions in the background, there will definitely be too many things to, you know, move around. Okay. You can see that it changed it to something else. This is the result. So you can also decide to get very specific with it. It depends on what you are trying to achieve. So now you can see that I have only six credits left so this is the before and this is the after when we replace the background so this is really cool what do you guys think about this let me know in the comments for me i will give this a uh, i think i'll give this a four over five it's not bad at all well you know what let's try one more image before we jump into conclusion so let's try this image and i will just go to my apps replace background now you can see that automatically even updated the image so what do we want to do here let's say we want to put these vendors in on a maybe in a shop uh, let's just say street shop for example and let's see what it gives us okay you can see this, this has a bit of distraction and you can see that the difference, there's even a difference in the lightning. Let me zoom this. Oh my God. You can see this. It even changed the face of the woman. It distorted her face and you can see the lightning is a bit of different. It's a bit different. So it all depends on what you're trying to achieve. And also try to ensure that the image you're using does not have a lot of distraction, right? So let's go on to the third app. The third app is called Text Art. And with this, you can add an artistic touch to plain text. For example, you can see this text here and they've given it a touch up. The hello text is now breaded. So let's put this app to test and rate it so on a clean slate i'll go on to apps again and search for text art so this is what we have and here you can see it says you have only two credits so be very careful we have only two credits meaning you can try this only two times every day and here it says your it has a maximum of two to six characters oh no ten characters actually but two to six characters works best. So let's put this to test. And I will just say food. I'll write this in capital letter. And what do we use this by flowers? So let's see. Ooh, 
Oh, this is beautiful, you guys. This is gorgeous. This is really, really gorgeous. What do you think? I think this is gorgeous. I really love how this came out. And unfortunately, I cannot try this again because my credit has been exhausted. And it's saying next credit to be like until the next 22 hours. But this is really good. Let me show you. You can see how beautiful this is. This is really beautiful. And it comes with a background, but you can always remove the background right here. This is really beautiful, you guys. This is really gorgeous. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love, 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 love this. I would give this, of course, a 10 over 10, 5 over 5, 5 star. And if it is over 10, to still be 10 over 10. I love this. I love this. The developer of this app did a very great job with this. Look at how beautiful this is. Mwah. <laughs> so let's go on to the next app. This next app is called Replicator. And what this does is it generates multiple copies of images and text elements. Hmm. This sounds interesting, as you can see in this image. So let's put this to the test and of course rate it. So on a clean page, I already have this image. So let's go to our apps again and we're going to search for replicator. So this is it. So you have to select a photo or text element in your design. I've selected this and click replicate. Okay. And we can see this is what it can do. It has the linear grid circular oh and wave oh this is nice this is really nice so let's see what this does okay so this is space you can give it some space in between them let's reduce the count of this so we can see it then you can make it oh interesting oh nice so you can make it slopey like this and there are other options here you can i really wish as you are doing this you can be seeing you know it's moving instead of having to scroll all the way up again oh you can rotate it and you can oh oh you can see the size ratio this is big and the size keeps reducing as we are doing this and you can see here it keeps increasing you can see this and there is space ratio oh oh this is nice this is really nice just that i don't like the fact that i constantly have to scroll up it should be a place where you can easily see the changes you're making without having to you know scroll all the way up so let's see this let's reduce the count of this so we can see it clearly and then reduce the space just a bit okay in this space ratio too let's reduce it the size should we increase the size okay and you can decide to rotate it let's see okay we can rotate this one oh you cannot apply rotation and screen at the same time Okay, so let's see what we have here. Oh, this is what we have. Interesting. This is what we have. Let's try the circular bit of it and try circular. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, this is nice. We could make it into a half circle, like a semicircle too. This is not bad. Then you can increase the ring count. Interesting. Then the ring space. Oh, nice. Okay, this is really nice. You just need to get creative with it. Then the ring slide. Okay, radius ratio. Size ratio. Then rotation. Oh, okay. So let me take this back and let's see wave. Oh, I really like this wave. 
so here you can use images to even write a wave text with this and you can see the wave count this is really good oh this is really good see this this is really nice you can see this so let's put this i want to reduce this so it is visible for us to see and let's add the design oh there are even more options here the bent branch count and all of that okay see this option right here so let me reduce the size of this wow this is really good so let me increase this and you can see the result so the good thing about this tool is you can choose to treat each one as a separate image for example we can decide to begin to you know take out the background you can see this and you could even decide to ungroup them so that it is treated separately let's delete or let's just reduce the size of this one so you can see here you could decide to do anything with it now that you have it as a separate image this is really cool and it also depends on what you're trying to achieve with your design so it's left to you to get creative with this you could use this to write a letter or whatever all depends on what you are trying to achieve so i'll give this a what rate what do you rate this guys let me know in the comments but for me this is going to be like a uh i would say like a four over five yeah four over five because it's not bad at all you just need to spend time to understand it and get creative with it so moving on to the next app this is called image translation and what this does is it translates photos into over 130 languages in seconds for example you can see that the image here is an english image and it translated it into a french image so if you are designing maybe in spanish in english and you want to translate it to other languages it could do that for you so let's put this to test I'm going to be using this image here with a quote from maya which says do the best you can until you know better then when you know better do better so let's translate this to french so go to apps and then search for image translator this is it and you can see i've already selected my image so it says upload or select an image from your design so let me use this image and it has already detected the language so what should we translate this to let's use you can see there are a lot of languages here i will just use this um let's do french and translate it to french and you can see this was very easy and very fast to do and you can see our results in french so I'll reduce the size of this so let's see what we have you can see the image is not altered it only changed and translated from English to another language this is super helpful if you are designing or creating for multiple audiences it could be helpful for teachers and every other person although here you can see that it also changed the logo this forbes logo right here has been changed you can see that but i think that's the only difference what do you guys think for me this is perfect this is very functional this is very good and i will give this 5 over 5 10 over 10. let's go to the next app this app is called choppy crop and it says crop your images any way you would like so this is different from the background remover app and you know with the background remover app it automatically only removes the background in a specific way so this one you can crop your images in custom shapes using the tool so let's put this to test i want to use this image we have here of will smith so let me duplicate it 
click on the image go to your apps and then search for choppy crop this this is what we are working with so i've already selected the image and it says click where you would like the crop selector to crop the image clicking the first point will complete the crop so i want to start from here okay you can see and I'll just go like this let's just do like this oh this image is pretty restrictive because it doesn't have enough headspace so if you are using yours just try to make sure it has enough headspace so be clicking once you get an area you want all you have to do is click so that again click just like that click then i'll take it all the way down here go to the beginning click and you can see this there is a preview also and you can even also oh you can also move it around so this is not bad at all can come here and move it around this is really cool and it just adds a bit of fun so you can come back here and you can reset if you want to and if you are satisfied with what you have you can add to design let me delete this so this is what we have you can see this cropped it out in a very irregular and very cute artistic shape this is five star 10 over 10 love it let me know your thoughts so let's go on to the last app of the day drum rolls please this is called voice studio this is really interesting and what it does is it it says here superior quality and speedy voice over production so it gives you a very good voice over you know what let's get into it so you go onto your apps again and we're going to search for voice studio if you have gotten to this point please subscribe this is what we are working with and you can see that it has different voices let me play this yes it is a big achievement to be accepted into the microsoft startup programs you can see that let's play this yes it is a big achievement to be accepted into the microsoft startup programs okay so it has different voices you can pick from and here it says 100 1962 characters left and here you can put in your script or you can select from your design like this or you can even upload a script so for this let's select from a design and there are different voice settings you can increase the speed reduce the speed and all of that you can choose a speaking style okay this is set to default and yeah let's see how this works let's use this voice the program ha there's this too by winnebago industries is a company that manufactures motorhomes hmm, interesting so let's use i'm pretty confused let's use this first voice and generate voice so this is it here you can see it automatically brings it on here and here you can even also adjust the volume here like this and you can also move this around you can see you can move this around you can bring it here bring it here so let's play this voice this tool will help you save some time you should try it this is not bad at all this is really good so let's play it again this tool will help you save some time you should try it this is brilliant this is really amazing and you can change the speed and all of that you can even decide to change the voice let's use this voice looks like there are only three voice options here as you can see here yes there are only three which is rather restrictive but i think you can still walk around with any of them so let's regenerate this result Now let's play this tool will help you save some time you should try it okay the pro
program has travel trailers and other recre. Okay, let's use this Adam's Andrew's voice. Let's use the Andrew's voice instead. I want to see how you know both genders sound like. Now let's play it. This tool will help you save some time. You should try it. This is not bad at all. I would give this, of course, you already know, five star. This is also a 10 over 10. But you know what? Let's just give this a four over five because there are not a lot of options here. There are not a lot of voice options here. And from what I can see, this is only restricted to English. So what if I want to translate to Spanish and all of that, meaning I cannot do that. As you can see here, it says only, you know, English language. That is the only language option available. So let me know your thoughts on these tools. And there you have it. Is this something you'll be trying out? Let me know in the comments. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. See you in my next video. Toodles.